Well, thank you so much for receiving our interview. So after the success of this mission, what's your feeling now? Can you share with us? We officially began research and development for Jutfu 2 in the second half of 2017, and it's been nearly six years. So our entire team has been waiting for this success for a very long time. After the failure of the launch in December last year, we underwent a thorough check from the very start. Like I said, space is challenging, and any small problems can bring about the collapse of the entire system. It's either a yes or a no, and there's no middle ground. So for us, the failure last year was also very painful. We've been working hard for a long time to achieve success. And why Jutsu 2 uses Methalox as propellant, and what are its advantages? Because liquid oxygen methane is actually highly suitable for commercial launch vehicles, especially for the development of reusable rockets, it's much cheaper than liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen, and the liquid oxygen kerosene that we're familiar with, because we have a very large LNG energy industry that's supporting the supply of methane. The second point is that methane is not relatively easy to accumulate carbon. When the engine is burning, and it's not easy to accumulate carbon on the turbine disk. The commercial space companies, including those in the United States, have chosen liquid oxygen methane as propellant for its potential in reusable scenarios. So what kind of technical improvement measures you would do for this rocket, and how do you plan for the reusable launch vehicle? First, we're going to use supercool refueling, which means lowering the temperature of the propellant and to improve the performance of the rocket. Second, we'll make the engine nozzle bigger so as to add activation during the second stage to improve the carrying capacity of the rocket. And the third step is that our rocket engine will continue to carry out thrust enhancement. Our reusable rocket's development has started. It'll still based on our Tianxue 12 80-ton liquid oxygen methane engine, so we expect to complete the first test flight in the second half of 2025.